Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, yeah, these wonderful completions from ColourfulDIYCraft.com. I did say I would show you them a little in a little bit more detail. And we'll do a bit of kidding down as well. Um, I am joined by the lovely Millie Moo today. Say hello, Millie. She's uh, sat next to me now. She has her own chair. So, oh, it's all very boring. <laughs> so, yeah, she's... Uh, She's just sat here with me and uh, yeah, we'll see how long she stays on the chair watching because she didn't want to be on the floor. She wanted to know what I was doing. I think it's quite possibly because there's uh, bags crinkling and wrappers crinkling. So she just wanted to see what I was up to, didn't you? Oh, is that nice? Is that just your sweet spot? <laughs> okay, when we get sorted round, I'll put you a bed on top of a chair and then uh, you'll be a bit more comfy. But for now, we'll just see how we go. Okay. It's nice to have company while you're crafting and then at least you don't feel as though you're talking to yourself. <laughs> okay, right. So let's get this one out of the way first. Um, yeah, she wasn't overly impressed with it uh, when I showed her it um, on the prize draw. So congratulations to it's Jess Diamond Paints for winning that prize draw. Um, oh, well, she's just having a sniff of my um, Pro Marker pen at the moment. Don't sniff pens, sweetheart. It's not good for you. It's a good job the lid's on. Have you got a bit, a bit that just needs colouring in a bit blacker? Yeah, she's been out for a walk this morning and she's a little bit muddy. Yeah, go figure. Dogs rolling in mud. Oh dear, whatever next. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I did get a lot of comments of people saying they already had this one and they have done this one and how beautiful and sparkly. Look at the sparkle on that wow that is so pretty and it really does look like my Gemma so yeah it will be uh, finding its way on the wall in a little corner somewhere very very pretty lots of gems left over as well um no that's the other one where's this one <laughs> there's those um there wasn't any gem codes on these so that will just be a generic kitty down um there's Gem codes actually on the zodiac sign on the little bag, so we're going to have a go looking at those with the bags. She's sniffing my glue brush now. I think I'd rather you didn't really sniff the glue brush. Yeah, okay. Maybe this isn't going to work out quite as I was expecting, but never mind. Okay, um, the zodiac sign, the plate, the zodiac plate is fantastic. I love how this has turned out. I think you can quite see the different pictures and everything. And I have sealed this one as well. While I had my sealer out the other day, I thought, right, anything that needs sealing is going to be sealed. It's a good job Hubby moved out of his chair. Otherwise, I might have gone after him with the paintbrush. <laughs> so, oh, we've just got a little gem there that's just stuck on. Oh, that's going to take some getting off. Right, I'm going to have to get uh, my craft knife possibly and just get that one off there okay right yeah that one's got a little bit stuck so we've got the two little um holes there look as well now this has still got its cover on so i did have um a lady ask me how do you know whether there's a cover on it or not if it's got like this sort of matte white opaque um kind of feel to it then it's more than likely got a cover on it the best way i find to uh, see whether um to see whether there is a cover on it is actually to use tweezers um but find a piece of the picture or whatever the project that if you do scratch it it's not going to show um but this one i'm going to go where the little holes are because this is where the chain is going to go so i'm just going to go and try and get my tweezers just underneath there if you just see look you just manage to grab it with your tweezers and then when you take that off you get this really high shine so if it's a little bit dull looking on this side i hope you can see this if you then take the cover off you get this lovely shine to it so yeah just oh, oh apologies if you don't like that sound but i love it <laughs> Okay, uh, Millie's over my bin as well, so I'm having trouble putting things in my bin. Right, so yeah, you get your complete shiny surface now. And that one is all ready to... That's Cat. I've just had Zodiac. There it is. Put its little chain on as well, so we will do that. 
challenge is ready to be hung up somewhere. Yay! Uh, I've got quite a few different chains from quite a few different projects. So what I'll probably do is have a look at some of them um, and see if, you know, I've got a fancier chain maybe or a shorter chain to go on this. But I'll see what it looks like when I get it in place. If you've sealed your canvas before you uh, go to then put your lobster claw clasp on, actually, it's probably better off going from the back. Just slide that down the back there. Oop! <laughs> Oh dear. I've got one eye on this and one eye on Millie Moe because I just know she's uh, going to grab something in a minute. All right, so yeah, it's easier if you just go from the back and just get hold of that. It's quite springy. So look where the hole is. Just slide it on there and pop it through. And there we've got a nice little chain for hanging it with. Yay! But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that actually. Well, I've got my tweezers out. Let's just um, see if I can pick that gem off. Yeah, as you can see, this is how the sealer works. It's, oh, it's very, very strong. And once it's on, it's on. Um, but yeah, you can get an odd one. You can get them off with a little bit of force. So, yeah, that's that one done. No harm done. No gems were harmed in the making of this canvas. <laughs> but, yeah, I do like the way they've just got the odd, like, little flower and the little ovals and things, just to add a little bit more interest to it. So, yeah, this one will definitely be hung up somewhere. Yeah. Where's me again? Where's me lion? Oh, Leo's over here, look. And uh, Pisces, hubby's over there, yeah. I did think, because of the way that these are actually written, um, there are sort of odd little gaps in some of the letters. It's just the font that they've used on I them. I do think I may go in with a very, very fine line, a permanent marker pen, and possibly just go over some of the letters a little tiny bit, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Uh, but other than I did think I might go in, I've got uh, a silver or a gold um, pen and I may go in with that as well. Just to highlight it a little bit because it's so sparkly and with it being a fairly small project, um, then I just want to be able to highlight some of the little bits like the little face and things. But we'll see. But that is fine as it is. I'm really, really pleased with that. Really like it. It's come out really well. And as you can see, Ceiling does not dull the sparkle. Look at the shine on that. Excellent. Okay. And then this one. You just now I'm going to say I love it. It's gorgeous. It just, the flowers are wonderful. I love these daisies with uh, the sort of iridescent coated teardrops, the white teardrops and the solid gold in the middle. Obviously gold colour, not gold gold. Yeah, it'd be really, really heavy if it was really gold. <laughs> And then these look here and then these flowers here and it just all comes together so well. Actually, I've not done my trick, have I, of putting little gems in the middle of uh, those flowers. Must do that. Yeah, I wonder why I've not done that. I usually do that straight away. Maybe there wasn't a colour that I wanted. Although probably, actually, I think I thought I'd have a very small gold. If when I'm um, looking through and putting gems away, I'll put, see how small the uh, small gold ones are of the like semi spheres in the full gold colour. And I just wanted them to go on there. So yeah, another great way for uh, keeping spares. But look at the gems on the hat as well. The semi spheres, these like huge pearls on the hat. It's just such a fantastic canvas. And it will be going up for Easter. Yay! What I'm going to do is cut these out as well. Now, you can, if you're really, really careful, use a guillotine on these. Um, right, I did find the lid for my tweezers. And now I've put it somewhere safe and I don't know where I've put it. Because I was looking for it the other day and it disappeared. Oh! <laughs> Millie, have you seen my lid for my tweezers? No, she says I haven't. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're in charge of your own things, she's saying to me. If you lose them, you'll find them. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to be a longer video than I thought with uh, 
a little nearly most that by my side so um, this one is a guillotine one which I prefer rather than the slide ones I've never found that I've had a, a, a slide one that's been sharp enough for me I prefer the guillotines and this one you have to line it up right on the edge of where the cutting edge is there it's a self-sharpening one this as well So it uh, should, in a theory, never go blunt. Um, unfortunately, some of these, the canvases aren't sort of square, as it were, um, as they've been cut. So if you're trying to get it square and uh, cut those lines off sometimes, you do miss a little bit, yeah. Just got the little bit of black on that edge there. Okay. But yeah, this is the best way to get a good edge. Um, again, it has to be a nice sharp blade. Okay, obviously be careful using these. I never let the uh, grandkids or anybody anywhere near these. Uh, but it does get you a nice straight edge. Uh, okay, and last one. So, yay, he's ready to go in my little 30 by 30 on the wall. Millie's had enough now and got down, so that doesn't look very straight, does it? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes a good pair of scissors is the best way to go. That is definitely not straight. Hang on. that's that one done and then oops I want my details to go in my little log book so I only need one key code and then we just want the one with the picture on where's the picture okay it's hiding yeah it's always the last one you pick up <laughs> right so pop those in there and cat there. Oops, it's not cat, is it? It's uh, Easter gnome. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do today is put the gems away that are actually the ones that don't have any uh, key codes on or don't have any gem codes on. So that's that one, okay. And let's just double check through these gems. Whoops. Oh, I'm all at sixes and sevens today. Uh, Millie's just got down now. She's in a basket. Right, so gold, gold. Standard gem, standard gem, standard gem. Silver, uh, white, silver. Oh, my goodness. Do you know I should start this video again? Right, and that's that one, and that one, and that one. And all of my donate gems have all gone now. They've all been donated this morning, so I can start my little jar again. <laughs> so I've got another big jar to put all the packets in. So, yep, yeah, it's a sweet jar, like I've, uh, exactly the same as the one I've got the buttons in. So I'll start popping them in there, and then I can just tip them into a little bag to donate. Right, let's do cat now. Do you know, she's not reacting at all. She's uh, definitely, yeah, I think she's wanting cuddles, if I'm honest. I think she's uh, in a cuddly moment. Right, this one, the gems are quite close up to the edge so i am being very very careful doing this one because i don't want to cut any of my gems in half and i don't think the cat would be very happy if i cut a little bit of its bottom fair off <laughs> okay so that's level up there that one's a completely plain one so i definitely don't need that one Actually, I won't have that one. I'll keep this one because it's got the picture on. And let's just take that slightly that way. 
had this uh, guillotine a long, long time. It's an X cut one, and I do find that X cut I bring a lot of crafting, and some of my scissors have been theirs as well. So, yay, look at that. I really do want to cut this out as a shape, but I don't want to lose these bits, and I'm sure. I wouldn't really be able to cut around that and then leaving white on it would drive me mad. So she's just going to have to go in a frame as it is, but she's very, very pretty. All those gems are absolutely gorgeous. So that's my three, uh, well, two canvases and my little hanging sign all done there and ready to go. Now Millie's moved off the chair. I can put things on the chair as well. <laughs> This is what I need, more space to spread out while I'm actually crafting. Because um, the floor space just isn't doing it for me at the moment. It's practically full. <laughs> okay, so we want that bit. And we want that bit. And we want that bit. Don't ask me why I keep all these bits. Um, I think it's just my, in my mind I need to have as much sort of together as possible. I definitely needed pictures of things because I've got a memory like a sieve. So, yeah, it's a sieve today. It's not a goldfish, it's a sieve. <laughs> okay, that's that one out of the way over there. So, oh, hot pink. Standard, 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 standard. And then look at all these lovely specials. Okay, well, special shapes, they're all special. And then, as I say, these oh, these have all got gem codes on them. So I'll do this in a separate one where I'm looking at gem codes and doing that one. Okay. Is this a good time to mention that if you use Liz 5 off for 5% discount? <laughs> I'm just so proud of these. <laughs> so I keep after telling you. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything for you using the code. Um, it lets the company know that uh, people are watching my videos and ordering after watching my videos. Yay! Okay, right, let me just tidy the decks a little bit. And let's sort these gems out. I've got some previous kittens down as well. So what I do first is put them into colour order. Okay, so white. Helps if you put them actually on screen, Liz. White, white, white. Uh, they're orange, red, blue, gold. Now I think they're in red. Uh, silver 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 they all go in my silver jar that's an a b so that one will go in my a b's more red more green uh, two more greens there a pink and a blue and a blue and a blue <laughs> and we've got hot pink and gold in there so i'm going to take that large gold one out uh, because there was no uh, gem numbers on these and because uh, it's such a huge gem, I thought, well, rather than getting another bag just for one gem, um, I'll put it in the bag with the hearts. Purple, more pink, and I think we're done. So, silver jar. Oh! I still go looking for my silver jar look, and they're not in the jar, are they? They're in the silver bottle. Yay! And I, I will just add again, I don't drink whiskey. <laughs> This is not mine. Uh, well, it is mine. I won it. But uh, yeah, it's um, my dad that's drunk the whiskey. So Just pop these in here. Oops. All these clear crystals. I don't know. Well, I'll have to start another jar, won't I? Either that I'll have to buy my dad another whiskey bottle. I'll win another whiskey bottle. I've only kept it because it's got the black and white Scotty and Westy on it. Look at that. Yay. Oh, there were some gems still left in there and I've just spilt them all over my desk. <laughs> Things are not going well today. Right, so that can go back. I actually have it on my window ledge as well, would you believe? Although it is upstairs and it is the backwards way on. So unless somebody gets some binoculars and can see that from a great distance, then people won't realise that I've got a whiskey bottle on my window ledge. <laughs> or maybe they will. And they'll be saying, oh, look, she's uh, a whiskey drinker. <laughs> OK, so that's those done. So now, now I need my box. Special shapes. 
so oops I've just picked that up and thrown the gold <laughs> and you know we've not got any other silvers either that's unusual um silvers is one of the most popular gems oops I've just zoomed out a little bit more so you can see a little bit more of what's going on let me grab a big tray just a generic tray there tend to use these for kittens down and things bits of paper all over right so this is my special drills and i keep them in color order and then in four categories in each color so i've got silver here gold yellow black white green blue pink red purple and um, orange i was gonna say yellow again then but yellow are up there and it's evolving as i'm going along um as i say none of these have actually got numbers on so i don't need any stickers for putting numbers or anything on but uh, yeah this is working for me so far i do need to expand my box a little bit because it isn't big enough at the moment because i've got so many spares now then we did need to look for some gold didn't we so let's do the gold ones oh do you know I tell you i've got a memory like a sieve that gem <laughs> It's a good job it's big otherwise it would have just pinged off and disappeared into the uh, craft room never to be seen again so we've got two lots of teardrops we've got one round and one marquee so i'll leave that teardrop there so we wanted some small gold rounds didn't we to go in the middle of the uh, gnome so let's have a look at gold rounds and i've got a lot of them so that is a mixed bag Oh, look, they're just the right size. So I'll keep those out because I'm going to use two of those. Let me just see if I have just got this mixed bag or whether I have got any others in that size. Uh, as you can see, some of them have got num gem codes on, numbers on them. And that's as I kick down now and something has a number, then I do put the number on the bag. Oh, they're huge. Look at those huge ones. So, no. Um right what i'm going to do is put those in a separate bag for now and then i am going to sit and pick out the uh, correct size ones and the bigger ones leave the bigger ones in that bag and put the smaller ones in this bag because i'm hoping at some point i will get a gem number for these and then i will be able to uh, actually put a number on them yeah i think they are or are they all the same size is it my eyes oh it's my eyes they are all the same size i'm thinking the smaller ones and bigger ones in there but they are all that size yeah you, i should be looking on the back which is what i say is the best thing to do and i'm not doing it look they are exactly the same size as those so i don't need a new bag these just need to go in here oh dear you only watch me for the mistakes i know <laughs> It's a good job you don't watch me for uh, professional kittings down and diamond paintings because it's just never going to happen really, is it? <laughs> so that's those gold ones. So at least we can put those away now. Right. Uh, while I think about it, let me just put... Uh, I don't think there's any sticky in between there, is there? So this is uh, the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Magic Glue. This makes anything that you put it on within reason, um, you know, there is a list on the website and everything as to what they do, uh, into a sort of a tacky surface and it stays tacky like a poured glue canvas. So let me just push that out slightly that way and that way. You do just need to leave it to dry for um, a little bit so that it goes tacky and then you can just stick your gem on. You can use a sealer instead. So let me just get this coming out. I don't want a lot. Ooh, that is a lot. All right. Let me get my plastic tweezers and just put a little blob there and a little blob there. And then in effect now we have turned this into a poured glue canvas. So I will now be able to stick the gem in the middle of each of those flowers. Is there any more to do? No, there was just the two. So that's fine. 
Okay, another use for the plastic tweezers that come in the kits. So we'll just leave him a moment to one side to dry a little bit. And we just want two of these out. Okay. So we'll just take two out. One. Oops. Oh, look, it's sticking to my fingers now. One. Two. And we'll put those in the middle of those flowers. Yay! I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Right, so now we're looking at marquees. So we want gold marquees. Okay, and they are sort of the standard, sort of middle-sized ones. These are all I've done on sunflowers look, which are the real elongated ones. Could be those. Yeah, looks like those. But as I go through, I do like to double check that I've not uh, used uh, a different packet or I've had some different ones. Oh, I love those. Look, they've got glitter in them. They're really pretty um, and I've not doubled up on any so I just double check. As I go along then I won't need to do that but uh, I also like just looking at my gems as well. What can I say? <laughs> okay so that's these marquees to go into here. Oops come on in you get in you get that's it and then we want the teardrops so and then the other uh, category that I have is miscellaneous and that's like squares and hearts and stars and flowers and things like that. So I want this huge one and then I want very, very pale gold little teardrops. So that could be those. We'll double check. So we're just looking for, that's the same teardrops look but in a very different colour. They're another colour. Yeah, they're darker as get as well. So I've actually got teardrops in three colours. I'll double check on the colour of those. And oh, look, I might just have the big ones. So let's pop that away in there. So let's have a look. Are you the same? Oh, oh come on, pick up. Right, yes, we are. So he's going in with his friends. That's good. He's not going to be left on his own. We like that. Right, now let me look at these teardrops. So, yeah, they're definitely more of a, a gold, a, a sort of a yellowy gold. These are more of a champagne colour. And, yeah, they're the pale ones. Yep, yeah, OK, so these can go in with its little friends in this one. Excellent. I like it when I don't have to get a new bag. Trouble is then I'm finding that these bags are getting so full because I've got so many because I love my specials. Right, let's have a look at gonk. Yeah, you can see now. Oh, it's practically gone clear. That's a little bit thick there, really. So what I'm going to do is just pick up these gems, she says, hopefully, with tweezers, something that I don't really do. And just pop that in the centre of there. I should have got a pen out, really. A diamond painting pen but as soon as I've got my tweezers out on my desk anyway and I'm just gonna get that in that little space there should have left a little bit more space come on press in yeah, just turn that one slightly turn that one slightly and yeah I do prefer um having the middles in the flowers actually I think I prefer another leaf there as well if I'm honest mm, I might put I wonder if I can get one in no I'll leave it as is because there's the printing underneath and then this one just get it the right way up come on okay well I've got a bend on my tweezers just pop that one in there and oops clicked into place so now I've got middles in my flowers. Yay, that makes me happy. Okay. A little bit of crafting in the middle. <laughs> right, so what colour are we on to next? Um, we've not got any more silver. We've not got any yellow. So black, we've not got any black, but we have got a couple of whites. So let's have a look in white. Okay. Uh, green. Now then, white, 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 white is there. Look, with the white card, but it doesn't show up very much because all of them are white. <laughs> right, just so we're wanting these large, um, large semispheres with an iridescent coating. So, and, oh, look, that one's got folded over and going to the bottom. That's what happens, you see, when you get too many in. 
Um, I can't remember why I've put those in there. They must be a slightly different colour or possibly glow in the dark. Not sure. Okay. Um, all right, I've got two colours in there, but that one's got an iridescent coating and that one hasn't. Oh, they could be those. They could be those. I've also got cream in here as well. Look, kept all the cream pearls. Oh, look at those. It's got a real pink glow to it, that one. Stop looking at all the gems, Liz, otherwise we're going to be here all day. <laughs> all right, so let me have a look. So, yeah, there's a little bit more sheen on these than there is on those, but uh, they are the same ones, so that's fine. Oh, Millie is very restless today. Um, we've had say we've had the charity things picked up today um, from Emmaus. Uh, they're uh, uh, well, they're a national company from what I understand. Um, help with homeless people and things. So yeah, they've been and collected um, our donations. Put them back in the right place, Liz. And. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we had a bag of Millie's toys that I wanted to put into the dustbin. But I tend to, rather than throwing them away straight away, I keep them for a little bit in the garage and then uh, just see whether she misses them or not. Anyway, the first thing she did when she got in there was charge straight at the bag with all her toys in and take them all out. Away. Millie, good they're all to be thrown away. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? Hey, oh look. So at the moment they're all over the garage floor. <laughs> so I thought, oh well, I'll just leave them as outside toys now and she can play with them. They're not really fit to be donated. Um, I think the only thing that I have donated is the pop-up ball that she got. They're advertised all over on like TikTok and everywhere. And uh, they're those balls that if you push them flat, then they've got like a suction in the middle and eventually it gives way and the ball pops up. Well, she's absolutely terrified of it and won't go anywhere near it. You know, there's all these happy dogs on the advert playing with this ball and we thought, oh, she'll love it, hates it. So I've washed all that down and that has gone in the charity box because I thought, well, it was quite expensive uh, and I'm sure somebody's dog will love to play with it. So, yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there were some of her old soft toys that have got eyes missing and stuffing missing and she's just taken them all out the bag and played with them this morning. So yeah. All right, so that's the white ones done. Yep, I also had Hubby saying, what's in this box? What's in this bag? And having to go through everything again as well because he can't remember what we're donating and he's terrified that I'm getting rid of something he doesn't want me to get rid of. So it was quite an ordeal, really. Fortunately, all this happened before the guys arrived with the truck to take the stuff. Because um, we've got like the wheelchair, I find that... Uh, oh, are they the same? Are they all the same? Um... They are. We've got three lots the same look there in my keys. So let's do those first. So, yeah, um, they rang me up and said, oh, we'll be there in about 20 minutes. So I thought, oh, well, I'll go and get the door open because I'd put everything in there. So it's easier for them. So they're not wasting time and not having to carry it up and downstairs. Uh, and that looks like they're those. Gosh. So, yeah, um hubby trundles out her side with me as well and millie comes out as well and says i've got millie going through her bag and taking everything out and hubby going through all the stuff there and i'm saying you've already seen it no i haven't you haven't shown me this no do you anyway they did eventually come but yeah uh, we can't really take it to the charity shop because i can't really leave hubby on his own so and i can't when we've got the wheelchair in the, the car it sort of like fills the boot and then I always have Millie on the back, well, mostly have Millie on the back seat. So there's not a huge amount of room. When I go shopping, when I go grocery shopping, um, I have to put the groceries in the back with Millie, which isn't always ideal, because she will have a look and see what we've got. Uh, fortunately, she's never eaten anything yet, but I certainly wouldn't leave her in the car with the groceries on her own, let's put it that way. Um, so, yeah, that was quite fun. <laughs> So, no, it's really good that they'll come and pick it up. Plus, there was like a table I had. Um, well, it's like a hall stand style table. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, one that Hubby had before the new one that I put together for him. So, yeah, um, that is now broken. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> anyway, it's all gone, so it's all clear. And I don't know about you, but I find that 
but um when sort of like things have gone the house sort of like feels lighter you feel as though it goes up an inch i know it doesn't i know that's really silly but i just feel as though it sort of like breathes a sigh of relief or maybe that's just me <laughs> all right so i'm looking for these uh, pale greens which i think they could be those just double check the rest and yep we are okay so yeah fortunately that is one big job ticked off and done so yeah i, I know um quite a few of my friends sell stuff on vintage and things but you know i'm quite happy to donate my stuff as well uh, right so what color are we next the blue is the next color so we've got rounds rounds and oh those marquees are the same again so very good so we want plain blue rounds and sparkly blue rounds let's have a look in the blue rounds is it me or is it getting darker i do believe it is getting darker oh don't say we're going to have rain again just for a change <laughs> So I'm looking for smallish blue rounds. Let's have a look at them. So they're the wrong colour. They're the wrong colour. That's one on its own. That's a very, very pale blue pile. Oh, I don't like seeing them on their own. I like them to have a few friends in the bags with them. Oh, ooh, I don't know. I think that's a slightly different colour. No, it's not that one. All right, let me put these back as I go along because we've got a lot of blues. And I don't want to drop them. <laughs> We've had enough fun today. Uh, no, they're too small. They're the wrong colour. Uh, they're too small. They've got like a crosshatch, like a square on them. Ooh, no. No, no. Uh, Nope, too small. Oh, could be those, could be those. Oh, there's two lots in that. Now, there is two different sizes in that bag. I can tell there are two sizes in that bag. Yes, because there's that size in there. And, oh, gosh, have I got... Oh, hang on. Just let me put these away. Have I got two bags that are mixed? Oh, no. See, it's an ever-growing monster, this. There's a lot of different things in it. So... Or are they? No, they are exactly the same. And I have two bags that need sorting out. Oh, my goodness. All right. And I've definitely not got any of uh, those either. They're, no, they're a different colour. Nope, they're a different colour. And that's just one on its own. So I need a new bag for those. All right. Let me pop these back in there so i've got a bag to put these two little round ones in here see see and i've done a boo boo oh dear just for a change <laughs> put that one back in there so yeah they're smaller they're the slightly bigger ones And I have got some of the bigger ones in that packet with those. Oh, silly Liz. Right, what I'm going to do then is put all of these in here together. Oh, a, bit of a bit of paper in that one as well. And go on, in you get, in you get, in you get. That's a job for another day. Ha, ha, ha. And I'll start a new bag with the correct size. And then hopefully in future, I'll put the correct size with the correct size. And at some point I will sit and... Uh, is that a piece of... Oh, no, it's a piece of sticky on the front. Oh, dear Liz, what are you like? Why have I got a sticky on the front? Anyway, so those two are okay. So I can put those away. Right, I want a label. And I am just going to write mixed on this label. So 
so that I know in future when I pick these up that this is a mixed bag. Okay, fingers crossed anyway, I shall know what I mean. <laughs> You'll have to shout at me if I get it wrong. Right, so we are now just looking for blue marquees, nice aqua blue marquees. And as there's two of them, I'm suspecting that we might already have some of these because they're quite the popular one. That's the smaller ones. And is it those? It's those. Yes, we have got them. Hooray! And it was the last one in line again. Right. These put in here. So we're going okay at the moment. My mum's uh, got nurses coming in to visit her and doing blood pressure and ta and uh, checks and things. And my dad's having a full MOT. Um, nurses have been round to check him as well. So fortunately, they're all doing okay at the moment. So yeah, I'm just checking they are. Yeah, that's it. Just looks slightly different in the light there. And uh, so Hubby's having his uh, dialysis. So he's doing all right. So pink and Millie's just had a haircut so she's doing all right so they are actually um in the miscellaneous because they've got like a star stamped on them so I don't just put them in rounds um I put them in the miscellaneous because they're a special special <laughs> an extra special so are they the same size oh I don't know I think they look slightly different size oh they might be the same I'll have a look um no, they look a lot pale. Oh, what's that one in there? There's a pearl in there as well. Oh, that's like an overly shaped pearl. That must have been a misshaped one. So I've got those. It's definitely not those because they're like a bright pink. They're too small. Look at these hot pinks. Oh, and look at all those. They'd be quite nice on my rabbit, wouldn't they? Mm, squares. Right. So are these hearts the same size? Yes, they are. They just looked slightly... It must be my eyes this morning. Things are looking different sizes for whatever reason. Anyway, so that's... Don't put them in red. Put them in pink, please. Put them in the right place. Right, so are these the same as these? I know they've got, oh, they've got the hot pink back. So maybe they are the same as those hot pink ones. Hang on, where were they? Come on, come on back out. Oh yeah, they are the same as those. So go figure. Didn't realise that. Wow. So they're in that one and not in that one. Right, we'll leave the little pearl in there. Seems to be having fun with his friends at the moment. So, as I say, I think it's a, a sort of a mistake one, just an extra little blob that's ended up rather than it actually being a gem. So it can stay in there with its friends. So pop those back away in miscellaneous. Right, so now we want red. And we want two lots of red rounds without any facets. So I know I've got lots of these. They tend to be holly leaves and all sorts. So let me have a look at my red rounds. So are they those? I've got two different colours now then. They've got facets on. Right, so I've got two lots of those. They're the smaller ones. Um, why have they ended up in there? They're marquees. I'll put those back where they should go. I've obviously jumped across when I've not been looking. <laughs> They've got facets and yeah, look at those. Oh, I love those really deep dark red for berries. Right. So let's see if these are these. Oh, hang on. Red rounds. Put them in the right one. And there you go. So let's have a look. Yeah, they're the darker colour and they're the lighter colour. So put the darker colour back and these are the lighter colour. Oh, look, and I wanted the small ones as well. And I've just put them all away. That's because I found some marquees in the wrong place. Got overexcited. <laughs> all right. I think what I'm going to have to do is sort out the ones with facets and the ones without facets in the reds. 
just so that I can sort of keep them separate so that I aren't having to squint and look to see what they are. So I think they're probably those, which is the most popular bag. I have been sort of keeping them in the front and then putting the others at the back. But then you sort of get the odd ones as well. So, yeah, these have all got facets on them. Okay. So, yeah, I'll have to try and keep those at the back and the ones without at the front. How long that will last, I don't know. But we'll give it a go. Oh, yeah, they're two separate sizes. That's the huge ones and that one. And then that's like a coated one. And that's the medium size. So we'll put the odd ones there. Put those there. Put those as the next size there. Lots of different sizes in these. So when it comes to Christmas and doing berries, I've got plenty. Yay! Okay. I don't believe that these are these they are so this is a very very full bag i might even have to start a second bag if it carries on like this wow okay so they go in there it's a very very fat bag okay so that's those and then we want marquees that one just wants to go in anyway so let us have a look in here Da, da, da. So are they those? Looks like it could be. And that just wants to go in anyway. What are they then? Oh, how strange. I wonder why I've done those as a separate one. Okay. It's because I've got daylight, you see. I've not got the overhead light on today. So I'm actually seeing them in like a daylight, even though I do have a daylight bulb in my craft room. Um, look, the light does look very, very different. And I say I've put these all separate. And to be honest, I think they could. Well, they're definitely those. And I think that's probably a mixed bag because these are like the purpley red ones and they're like the greeny red ones. So, OK, well, they want to go in that bag with those. those back in there okay oh, does it no they, there's definitely two different colors and say so that has ended up um, that has ended up as a mixed but although they do go green as well do you know i think really they are all the same oh do you know what i'm going to put them all in the same bag and then when I come to use them, I can always sort them out if I need to put them as different ones, can't I? And then uh, it keeps my nice bags for something else. <laughs> oh dear, you watch. Next time I do an unboxing and get one, I'll say, well, they're different colours and I'm going to have to sit and sort those out. This is what I do, you see. It's, it's, it's an ever-growing project, this. I just tend to uh, have to reshuffle things all the time. But at least I get to keep another couple of bags. Right, so we're in... Oh, back in pink, look. I must pink one. So we want a pink marquee. Uh, teardrops. Okay, come on, pink marquees. There you are. I definitely know I've got this one. Because, again, this is one without a facet on. And I have got quite a few of them. Yeah, that's that one. Oh, hot pink. <laughs> why i like hot pink so much i think it just smiles at me it's such a bright vibrant color i never used to be a pink girl i was always quite a tomboy when i was younger but i think it's since i got into crafting i just fell in love with all the sparkle and all the bright colors so she says looking at a very pale pink <laughs> right now we want purple we don't have many purples and we want miscellaneous in purple so they are at the back there and we want these flowers and i think oh why are they the same color now then let me have a look yes they're those now then are they hot pink or are they purple oh i don't know now 
now I'm looking at them in this light. I've put them in purple. No, I think they're more sort of that magenta -y colour, aren't they? So, oh dear. You're seeing all my mistakes today. <laughs> Oh no, they're definitely purple. When you put them next to those pinks, they're definitely purple. So that's fine. All right. Uh, I'll put these into here. Okay. Oh, Millie's half in a bed and half out of a bed now. So she's uh, had a busy morning. And uh, she probably hasn't forgiven me for um, putting some of her toys. Well, trying to put some toys in the bin, but anyway. <laughs> right, and last one. So I do keep these as I, be I do believe in orange. Oh my goodness, look how many I've got. Wow. So, yeah, this is a very popular one. It's like a fire red orangey sort of purpley greeny colour. It's the AB coating, the iridescent coating on them. Just makes them that little bit different and you do find a lot of them take on the colour of your canvas as well so it depends on what canvas you've got right so that's those all done so oop. <laughs> oh dear how can i possibly drop a box full of gems just watch <laughs> these are my around ab's and we have this yellow colour so is it that one it is will i get them in there is the question Ooh, i think we had this last time i don't know whether they're going to fit in there but we'll give it a bit of a tap down and see it might do or it might not we just have to wait and see Ooh. but i will definitely have to get another jar if we do any more Okay, just get those. Oh, look, one's escaped. Get in there. Gotcha. Right, so that is those. Yeah, I keep these all separate. And any that I've got sort of DMC numbers for, I do write the number on. But any that I've not got the number, I just put it as an A, B. I have got um, a two drawer cabinet that's the art dot. Uh, cabinet with the little handle on and everything um, and I do have one that's got the squares in as well so a rounder in one drawer and squarer in the other just to try and keep me a little bit organised <laughs> okay well uh, thank you for joining me um, I hope I haven't bored you too much <laughs> putting gems away again that's how the cookie crumbles in the Harrison household with all these special drills. Uh, I will be looking at my Easter things to see what I've got from last year and what I need to get done for this year. So, because we're rapidly approaching Easter, it's in March this year um, rather than April. So it's a bit of an early one this year. Okay, well, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what chaos I can get up to next, <laughs> then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.